Invaders in here with a quick movie on making movies with Shadow Play and Windows Movie Maker. Some people didn't know how to a activate Shadow Play, so here's how you activate Shadow Play. You go down to your NVIDIA Control Console down here on the lower right hand side. Find the Control Console, open it, and with the NVIDIA software to pop up. There it is. And up there in the top right hand corner you see shadow play so just click that icon and you can see the shadow play uh, activation box pops up here mine's already activated uh, this toggle looks like it's an on and off toggle when it's activated that, that will be on you should have two small icons down in the lower right hand corner of your screen one looks like a microphone one looks like a little light uh, once shadow play is activated so here you go now we can start making the movie. Okay, so you're going to need a track file. Uh, I have a shortcut to my track files in my IL2 soft pub uh, right up here on my desktop, so I can always find out where those track files are. And I've already named this one, as you can see, there's the uh, computer address that it's at. Uh, you also have to open the ATAG uh, editor, and there it is right there. So you have to be ready for that. And once you do that, see it says go get your file so it defaults to where I keep my track files and I go select the track file that I want to upload into the file editor or the track editor and there it is there's the name of it right there so I wanted to process that track so I just hit process track record so once I do that you're going to see down here in the lower left hand corner it's going to give you the status of where it's at in its processing. When it's done, it'll tell you to download. So you're going to go ahead and hit download. And once again, down in the lower left hand corner, you're going to see where it's downloading to. That'll be in your downloads file. You also want to take note of that number right there because in your downloads file, it's going to be that number and not the name that you previously gave it. So pay attention to that. So it says it's downloading. So let's go into our downloads folder just use uh, my desktop here to get to my downloads folder we open up the downloads folder and we're going to find that number now I also have a process tracks file that I keep up on my desktop to link these two so you'll see that pop in over there in just a second but I want to rename that file back to something like we had it before that turned itself into a number so I'll rename it now so here we go I'm renaming that file and I'm going to move it into my process tracks folder now you're going to see it pop in on the screen here because I edited it's a good idea to do this so you know what's processed and what's not processed, otherwise that can get confusing. So there it is, there's the folder. I try and put it in there, but it doesn't work, so I'll grab it and I'll put it back in there. There we go. So there we go, there's my process track file in that folder. Now I need to open the game to do the process track file. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open Claude. There it is. And in I'm going to look for extras, so there that is right there, and I'm going to look for tracks, there it is right there, so I'm going to open the tracks, and I'm going to select that particular track, and now I'm going to have to go to my desktop and find that folder uh, in my process files folder, so there it is right there, and I'm going to say there it is, okay, this is the one uh, that I want to watch, and you'll see it load in just like the game does right there. Now once this loads in, you're going to make a few menu selections here. Because we're processing this track right here, uh, we're going to want to edit time, uh, edit all these other things. So everything you want to edit, we're going to highlight. All right. Then we're going to use Low Sab's version of editing uh, within the track editor. So we're going to start recording this track, and we're going to process it. Uh, or edit it while recording it. But to do that, we'll have to rename it. So we'll rename that tutorial. So I'll take the time here to call this tutorial. And then we're going to save it back to that process track folders so we know where it's at when we're done instead of having to seek it out in that IL2 soft web folder. All right. So once we have all that done, you're going to need to know the base commands in this track editor. They are uh, F10 for moving the mouse, P for pause. That toggles the track uh, editor on and off. 
and it also clips out the stuff you don't want to see in your movie. And we'll see that here in a minute. Uh, so it's F10, pause, and bracket left to slow down, bracket right to speed up. So here you go. To find your airplane, your airplane's already already noted by an asterisk. So you turn it on. Now you can see that we have all of the text boxes and stuff over on our on the left. Don't worry about that because we're going to take those out a little bit later. Uh, by pushing F10, you can see that I can move uh, the view around with my mouse by zooming in and out. This is left click and uh, move in and out, left, right, up, down while I'm holding down excuse me, with a left click. To jump in and out of the cockpit, you just uh, press F1 and F2. You can only jump into your position uh, in the aircraft. You're at no other position. And now you can see that we're filming the movement that we did there. Here's how you jump into another aircraft right here. Just select the aircraft you want, click on it, and there you go. You're in another view from another aircraft. You can pan around. Uh, do whatever you want from the view from the other aircraft. So that's how that's done. Now if there's 20 aircraft to select from, you can jump in any of the 20 aircraft to, to get the view that you want. Okay, here we go. We're going to start editing all this stuff that we've done. So we go out, we stop it. What we're doing now. It's going to go away and then we're going to have to restart this and we're going to make some different menu selections this time. Uh, to replay and record this with Shadow Play. So we're going to select it again, go to the folder, get it. There it is. And find our track. There's our track. Let's start it up. There it's going to load in for us. Now we're going to do some different menu selections on this that's going to cut out all that stuff that was over on the left hand side that you saw before. Uh, here we go with our different menu selections right here. And there they are. We just want these bottom two right here. There's that one. And there's that one. And now we're just going to play it back and get ready to start filming with Shadow Play. And this is basically a finished movie. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and start Shadow Play and start recording a little bit of our final movie. Uh, this is from the Claude editor. Okay, so we've turned on Shadow Play and now we're taking all the scenes that we want to uh, have displayed later on. So there you go, there all that is, and we'll show you the view from inside of the uh, cockpit or from inside of the gutter's position in this case. So there you go, all your panic views, all that other stuff has gone off of the left side. Alright, looks pretty good, Shadow Play's taking all that in, so there we are in the gunner's position. All right, so now uh, we're ready to edit this movie, especially if it's a big movie now. we got a whole bunch of editing to do. So now we'll go ahead and we'll move into Movie Maker. Movie Maker didn't come stock with 8.1. I had to go to uh, Microsoft website and download it. I don't know if that's the way it is in Windows 7 or not, but you may have to do that. So here I am in 8.1. I just go find Movie Maker, and I'm going to open up Movie Maker. There it is. It'll pop in. Now all these videos are saved in my videos file. Uh, I know where that is, so and I think I already have a default in here. So I'm going to say, okay, let's go get that movie we just made. So there we are. These were all the all the movie clips for the tutorial. So let's just start with the shadow play one. So I'll go find that uh, shadow play movie that I made uh, for this tutorial, and then I'll just drag and drop it into Movie Maker. That's all I have to do. So here we go. Yeah, there's a fail drag and drop we'll do it again there we go now watch the bottom left hand corner you'll see uh, the movie file is being processed so uh, movie maker can uh, edit it so let that finish out this depending on how big the movie that you made is this could take quite a while this could take 15 20 minutes if you have a big movie all right so there in this case is a short one so you can see it right up here in this little left hand box you can see what's going on with the movie now if I want to add those text boxes with those little introductions and stuff this is where I do that it's just right here so I'll just click on this and there's the text box so I'll just go in here and edit whatever text it is again I'm just doing this really crappy just so you can get the idea of how folks are doing this so there you go turning on shadow play that's all I did I just type that into the text box and when I'm done I'm going to click play again and you'll be able to see it uh, come up so you can look at your movie and see if everything's coming up the way you want to you know if you have uh, screenshots that you want to put on that black background you can do that there I see people do that 
uh, but that that's how they're doing that is right here in Movie Maker. So if you want to do that kind of creative stuff, uh, you're going to have to get Movie Maker. Okay, here you can see a little bit of cutting and editing and splicing going on. I just wanted to show you that all that's done in Movie Maker. When you're all done with that, you're going to want to save that as a movie. So what we have to do is we have to go save as set in save it in 1080. You can see that happening right here. So I'm going to save that movie in that format. I'm going to name it whatever I want to name it. And once it's saved, it's ready to be uploaded to YouTube so you can show it to everybody. I hope that helps all you new movie makers just like me and answer some of the questions that you might have had about the full editing and recording and uh, all of that. Uh, cheers.